see you back in World of Tanks with Gerald. Happy New Year! I'm just, I'm just saying it because it's the first video I'm gonna post in 2019, where I'm playing with uh, my brother Sulfate. We got ourselves a brand new tank. I never played with this tank before, so it has a stock turret, stock gun. I think the only thing that I uh, actually upgraded. And here are the tracks so I can mount some equipment and this equipment happened to be coated optics and that was kind of a mistake in my opinion because I didn't realize that uh, this American tank will have such a poor view range. Despite the fact I made this aggressive uh, spotting play through the middle and I managed to spot two enemy tanks and I'm happy with it. I probably wouldn't be able to do this without the cop cop doctor, so I'm not gonna be complaining about it too much. But yeah, the stereotype of any American tanks is, in my opinion, because those were uh, that I was playing, is that they are having a very, very good view range. So all you have to do is just coated optics, and uh, your um, detection range will be definitely over 445. Not the case with. Uh, T37, especially in its stock turret, I think that you're gonna get like extra 10 if you're gonna upgrade it. So, definitely worth to take binoculars in this tank. That's what I'm gonna do straight after this battle. And my brother actually connected a shot on that B43. I'm gonna try to finish that guy off. And yes, it is from the middle. I was spotted, but I managed to pull back without any harm. There are two artillery, so I have to be on the move. This guy in AMX ELC. This it's it's playing pretty aggressively. He's got to be a good player as well. We got ourselves a new, new tanks. Me and Salfet, uh, he got himself this Italian P43 bis. I'm probably not going to be bothering myself with Italian uh, Tech Tree. I bothered myself with Polish one, but I'm probably going to leave Italians as it is. And um, and we're just bombing around here on Malinovka. <laughs> Trying to have some fun for once. It's uh, it's a nice matchup. We are top tiers, and look at that. Twenty-five TP, new Polish tank, absolute garbage. And actually, pay attention to this guy because he's gonna play some role in this battle. Uh, this gun, not the most accurate, I have to admit. And someone was actually telling me, who was that? I think that was a commander from my clan, Grom, AD382. Um, he he mentioned that, that it's got an accurate gun, but it's not working in my case, at least so far. So, I don't really expect much from this battle. It's a stock tank, I just pretty much wants to, uh, at the end, we're playing pretty late, so I just wanted to play just this one battle, so the crew will stay there in this tank, so I can just, you know, after one click, I just simply um, return this crew. And I do, have you seen this? What have I done? What the hell was that? I had clean, clean shot on that Stug and I could pen him without any problem. I, it, I was definitely tired while playing this uh, particular one. It's 2-2 and it's uh, developing pretty, pretty even for both teams. My brother is taking quite aggressive move towards Enemy campers, OT67. No, that's not very nice from this tank. Oh, and AMX ELC. I'm so lucky that he didn't pen me. But yeah, this guy is actually good. He, he knows how to spot. He's pretty sneaky. Oh yeah, and my brother managed to spot two tank destroyers, including that T67 that I have a chance to take the revenge for that first hit. Alright, I'm spotted and I need to pull back. Did it in time. Nothing killed me yet. Though T67 is still alive. 4-4 with HP advantage of the enemy team. And... Uh... Ooh, have you seen those shots from military? I feel sorry for this guy in AMX. I generally do. But this time is to basically create a breakthrough in a light tank and go through this uh, main ridge line and finish off this stug. Oh, yeah, artillery. Lev. I don't know how to pronounce this 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 name of this artillery. Artillery. Lee FH 18B2. Whatever. Anyway. 
because I'm not spotted, at least I hope I'm not spotted, I'm making my way to this bush to detect more enemies and that 25 TP is here, but I'm not going to be shooting. I'm definitely not going to be shooting because if I will shoot, I will lose all the concealment, the enemy will find out where I am and I'll be quickly, quickly going into the garage and I don't really do that yet. So I'm trying to be clever, sitting in this bush, using the concealment of this tank. I, I don't think actually I've got a crew that is fully skilled in concealment. It's, it's as, as for my standard, it's a pretty inexperienced crew. T3485 is charging here, but what this guy is going to... It's charging on me! Alright, time to load some uh, APCR. I think at the time I thought it was uh, T3485M. Okay, definitely he spotted because he moved the gun towards me. Right. Pretty unlucky. But this time I'm lucky. I should be out of this battle right now. And the faster reload allow me to defend myself. They're knocked out. Let's row. And now I'm reversing. I remember my brother was like, because he he, he was uh, shot dead. And he was watching me doing it. Like, Why are you not going forward? I was like, yeah, I'm trying to dodge the artillery. <laughs> Don't shout at me. I'm tired. <laughs> I don't know. It was like 4, 4 a.m. in the morning, something like that. And uh, I'm coming back to this bush to detect even more enemies. Definitely let... T67, enemy vehicle destroyed. Not bad. Three kills and still, still plenty of potential to cause damage. And my brother is even telling me, yeah, you've got a chance for pool medal. <laughs> Pulls his medal. And uh, yeah, why not? I'm gonna obviously try it. 25 TP. Well, I'm gonna be able to remove you from this battle. Nope, but I'm now detected. Oh, this artillery probably had binoculars or what? Anyway, quick reaction to the right. Artillery one shot, and we are moving forward. Okay, there's another artillery. Hummel. Okay, well, I'm gonna be able to get the prestigious medal. Oh, you know how I love actually shooting the artillery, especially those nasty ones like Hummel. Okay, no, no Pascucci's medal for me, but I can survive that. I can move on. Still plenty of enemies to shoot at. And I've got those three heavy tanks to farm. Hopefully I will be able to get myself into the right position to farm them. Alright, let's see. This is OI Experimental, tier 5... Uh, Heavy tank, okay, let's see. Okay, a bit of a low roll, and now second shot. Okay, haven't been spotted. I was expecting that 25 TP to be somewhere around, but that's not the case. Let's move up further. Okay, T34 A5M on the enemy team is causing a mayhem over there on the other side. He's just finished off WZ and he is on Top Gun already. So this player must know what is going on and it's not going to be easy to win against him even if we have slight advantage in terms of tanks but not in terms of HP. I guess it's, this guy might be even full HP. Alright, okay. Let's see what well, I'm going to be able to spot. There is that, uh, that Churchill somewhere around plus uh, KV. Okay, hello. That was a present? <laughs> Let's move on. Right, there's still a Churchill somewhere around. And... And Hamel removes 25 TP. Actually, the guy actually drove all the way there to A3 to be killed. <laughs> oh well. Okay. The 25 TP for my team actually is doing a really, really good job by staying on the cap and putting the pressure on enemy team so they can't stay together and... Well, if T-3485 would help Churchill, I think we wouldn't have any chance in this battle because, let's face it, uh, these are really, really good tanks, especially T-3485M and... Uh, okay, let's see. Uh, I've got a clean shot on him and he's got pretty low on HP. Alright, we didn't penetrate his armor and blind shot didn't went through and... I'll he was basically that close to artillery and he hasn't been spotted after removing that scumbag from this battle, that Hamel. Okay, Churchill, definitely I'm detected. 
Okay, lose. Let's move back. Let's move back. I've loaded in premium shells because uh, penetration on this standard rounds is not really great. What is it? 120 mm, for Churchill, even from the back, as you can see. I might have problems of penning it. Okay, now my brother is uh, reminding me. Okay, get yourself behind the bush. Just, just double bush like this okay yeah now i'm definitely not gonna be spotted at least by churchill i'm worried more about t-34 85m very very good play by this player in churchill because he managed to force 25 dp from my team to get off the cap unfortunately the, the guy from 25 tp instead of uh, Pulling back, he's, he's, well, he's spotting for me, so I'm not going to say this is bad, because he's proxy spotting this Churchill. Oh, poor, like, really, really poor marksmanship. I should be aiming hit much better, and, and now i am even got myself spotted. I think that might be even T-34 and 85M who had binoculars who got me spotted. And Churchill, I'm so lucky again. I am so lucky again. Okay. It looks like this Churchill will be able to... Okay, look at this. Another present! I, mean, I was on Top Gun and now I've got 7th uh, kill. Um, maybe I'm not gonna get uh, the Pulse Medal as my brother was predicting here, but at least, at least, Top Gun and potentially Radley Wartus's medal. Okay, so one shot away from victory and I just ran out of uh, premium ammunition. Oh dear, and Churchill finished off that 25 TP, which is really, really a shame. This Churchill has a fast firing gun. Recently I've actually been playing with this tank. Not really a joyful thing to do. But okay, now it's my chance. Now it's my chance. Now or never. Now or never. I can see some green rectangle going on there. I, can, I think I can pen it. Nope. We didn't even scratch them. That one didn't go from. Now my brother remind me. You've got HE. Try HE. Yay! <laughs> They're knocked out. All right then. Let's see the results. So here it is. My first battle on T37. And there you go. A nice tanker. Not a surprise. Participation ribbons and Radley Waters for eight kills. Top gun. Oh yeah, that's a little bit irrelevant. And high caliber for how much damage? 2,239. Just enough. I mean, for tier six, it's pretty decent. One thousand three hundred and forty-six. Definitely enough for a nice tanker on tier six. Um, well, not too much damage caused by my rest of the team, including my brother, who probably was the reason why I won this battle. Because without his advice, I probably would screw up plenty of times after, after being so tired. He was kind of uh, my second brain there. So uh, definitely, he. He basically won this battle in, in some way. Uh, definitely, I have to admit, because the, you know, oh, congratulations for pa Pascucci's medal for that one that I didn't get. Uh, good, good latte, good latte, 100 and sorry, 1986 from Fear Clan. Uh, good battle, good battle by him. Almost got more damage than me. Thankfully, that didn't happen. And uh, I, lo oh damn it, I lost a lot of credits. 42 and a half thousand. Well, um, well, I spammed quite a lot of APCR, premium APCR, so... We supply 80,000, <laughs> but who cares if I'm gonna be able to play first battle on the T-37 like this. And definitely not going to be complaining and just to prove everyone that yeah, it's the first battle, you can see it here, the amount of battles are playing of this tank. I have to say, I'm looking forward to play more with it. I already fit it here, as you can see, binoculars. And now the view range is, the maximum view range is 460. With binoculars, that's still pretty, pretty poor, I have to admit. But hey, you know, like, like great battle. First one, uh, first, one of the first ace tankers um, in 2019. So um, rate it up. If you liked it, rate it down. If you didn't, uh, I wish you good luck on the battlefield. Once more time, Happy New Year, and until next time.